The Witcher Season 3 is finally over, dropping in two parts, part one and part two. A massive disappointment to audience, to all the fans out there who are literally only sticking around for Henry Cavill, to be honest with you. And this season is probably the worst that they've seen. And now Henry Cavill's gone, replaced with Liam Hemsworth. But they're not set to start filming until September, or should I say weren't start to set filming, or weren't set to start filming. But now that has been put on hold indefinitely. And you have a lot of people making the prediction that what this could mean is that they're just going to call it quits on the entire Witcher franchise. The Witcher's put on hold indefinitely. Season three could be the finale. Now, in reality, they're obviously not going to start filming while the actor strike is ongoing and all of this stuff is happening. So they've moved, started filming back to 2024. But with that delay and with the miserable reception that people have had, to this last season, there's a lot of people that are speculating Netflix could just cut the cord in general. I should clarify, this article does not mean that The Witcher has been canceled. You know, it's just somebody putting out their opinion that that's what they think could happen eventually. I don't see any reason to continue on with it, to be quite honest with you, because quite frankly, there is nobody that wants to see season four of this with Liam Hemsworth. They were sticking around for Henry Cavill, and that's the only reason they're invested. I've had no interest in The Witcher whatsoever. Um, I, I think I watched a little bit of the first season, and when I saw some of those viral videos with Henry Cavill going around, and um, I've had no interest in it whatsoever. The Witcher's been a complete and total failure, and it's sad because it could have been something special. It could have been something based off the games, um, that had an enormous fan base, dedicated fan base, and now here they are. This has been a colossal failure on every single level, and you get what you deserve, and fans have rejected it across the board. It didn't matter how much you tried to spin it, twist it, manipulate. It didn't matter. <clears throat> People were checked out from pretty much after the season one. I thought there was some decent feedback for the show overall, but it, it from what I understand, it was a lot of fool's gold. Well, I think season one, people liked it, but they wanted, they wanted more Henry Cavill and they were hoping that, you know, that season two, they get more of what they liked about the show. Season two, people, it, they realized that they got the opposite of that. And then season three was just completely shit. But if you look, there's some people that are trying to be like, well, look, it got, it's number two in the Nielsen ratings. Yeah, with basically no real competition, it is number two in the Nielsen ratings. Couldn't even be the top thing on Netflix because Suits dominated it. But with 1.3 billion minutes watched in its debut week, unfortunately, when you compare that to season two, you get the real story. Season two's debut, 2.2 billion minutes watched for that same period of time. Uh, and that's with fewer episodes of The Witcher out overall. So you have a drastic drop off for season three when you're talking about the people that tuned in for this. Uh, that is that that is a nightmare for them for what they expected to be their Game of Thrones, basically. That's mm -hmm. what they wanted it to be. And it has turned out to be the opposite of that.